Kingdom to Left 4 Dead 2. So if you want to skip ahead a few minutes to watch the gameplay, go ahead. But I gotta explain some things and why I'm playing a game that's kind of old and you know whatever. So first of all, let me get to why I'm playing a game that's older. This is a 2012 game, but there's Xbox One games. There's a lot of games I could be playing. So why am I playing Left 4 Dead 2 and why not Left 4 Dead 1? So I'm playing Left 4 Dead 2 because I was thinking about playing a game on my channel, and you know what? I was like, I want to play a game that I like, and Left 4 Dead. Both of them are my favorite games out of any game ever. So, I know there's a lot of games that people are like, why don't you like that better, and why is Left 4 Dead your favorite? And, I don't know, just, I guess, uh, because my first game I ever got, or played on Xbox was Left 4 Dead 1, and I just love the two games. And so, I'm really excited for Left 4 Dead 3. Uh, you know, it's not officially announced, but I think it'll be coming out, uh, probably before Half-Life 3, but who knows, that game... I haven't even played the Half-Life series, but I know everyone's just waiting for Half-Life 3 to come out. So, why am I not playing Left 4 Dead 1? Good question. I don't have Left 4 Dead 1 right now, because it's at my cousin's house. But the reason I don't want to play that, actually, is because it has five campaigns that I will be playing on Left 4 Dead 2. And I love the characters in Left 4 Dead 1. I think you can actually play as them when you play as the campaigns on here. Yeah. But, and I love Left 4 Dead 1, but it's just, I can just do everything, and because I, I have every single map. On Left 4 Dead 2, so I was like, you know what, I'm gonna play Left 4 Dead 2. So I had to rebuy this because I also sold this a while ago. I don't know, I kind of stopped playing, but you know, when Left 4 Dead 3 comes out, I'll definitely be playing that, um, by the way. And I'll probably come out for the next gen consoles, that's what I'm guessing, but this is all speculation. Who knows, it might not, it might not ever come out, which will be pretty sad if it doesn't. So, um, by the way, let me just press start so we can get, get kind of into it. Um, so. If you're wondering, uh, this is a series, though, about me playing every campaign but on Expert. So, there is an achievement that I will show in a second once it saves, taking forever. Yeah, there's, okay, I'll just go ahead and show. So, I have, like, most achievements, 56 to 65. Told you I love this game, so I play this a lot. I actually have more achievements on this than Left 4 Dead 1, but I think I, I, like, I like Left 4 Dead 1 better because when I got it, I just my first game. Yeah, looks like I like to play this game in May because I oh never mind I just got that in May, but I like to play this game all the time 2011 and stuff. So anyways, um, there is an achievement. I think it's, yeah, I haven't unlocked it. So Still something to prove survive all campaigns on expert. So there is a lot of campaigns I'll show you but you only have to survive five on expert which is the five main campaigns I'll show you again if you're not familiar with left 4 dead 2 or left 4 dead series I would suggest getting it. It's only 20 bucks for both of them now um, and probably forever more on the dashboard. So, uh, you know, I'd suggest getting those. Alright. So, maybe I should try to do some of these too. Revive 10 incapacitated survivors while under the speed boosting effects of adrenaline. Wait a minute. I don't even need to do that anywhere else. I really just need to use adrenaline and revive people. That's an easy achievement to get. And then this stuff, I just, I don't know why I didn't do. Uh, that, I don't know, the versus and survival stuff I didn't do as much. Um, that one's kind of a hard one to get. I don't know if I'll ever get that one. But for now, I'm not doing it just for the achievement, but I am going to do every campaign, not just the main five. I'm going to do every single campaign on Expert. Now, this series is going to be pretty long because just the one campaign could take, take me forever because I'll do five episodes at least for each um, campaign or four because there's four or five levels for each campaign. And not only that, um, but I probably should get to it. Um, but... Uh, wait a minute. Oh, okay. Wait, where's just single player? Oh, here we go. So. Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 campaigns. All together. And each one has about 4 or 5. This one, 3. Uh, and this one, 5. And this one, 4. And 5. And 5. And three, and five. Oh, by the way, okay, I'll start explaining these in a second. I'm not going to go through each one. Um, I'm going to start explaining each campaign, what they are, kind of in basic. I'm not going to spoil everything. I'll kind of give a basic storyline that you'll learn. But, yeah, so at least five episodes, pretty much for each one. Mostly, you know, three to five at least. Um, and the reason it's going to take longer is because it could take me forever because I'm going to be playing on an expert. And I'm going to be playing in, the, uh, in order, so these campaigns are all in order. So, the passing, yeah, anyways, I'll start explaining that in a minute. So, 
I'm going to be playing all of these on Expert, so it could take me forever to finish all these campaigns. And then even if I finish all these campaigns on Expert, which will be so many episodes, uh, you know, I'll probably, I might go back through and do some extra things. And then, you know, Left 4 Dead 3 hopefully will come out in a year or two, and, you know, I'm hoping around there. And, uh, by the way, if I can't seem to talk right, it's because I bit my tongue the other day, and it just hurts so bad that sometimes I, when I'm talking, I kind of, not even bite on it, but just kind of touch it, and then I just, it hurts. So... By the way, I'm going to be doing Skyrim soon. I know it's another old game, but I'm going to record. Oh, by the way, I don't even know if I said this, but I'm going to record and upload things I want to this channel. And I'm not going to just start uploading random games no one likes. But I'm going to be doing games people like. And, you know, this game people could like. And I really hope I can get people to come to this. And I hope you guys can share and just enjoy this series. But just in case you guys don't like it, it's not really my fault. Um, I'm just want to do stuff I like. So let me start explaining stuff. This is in order. So uh, I'll uh, show you guys. So. Technically, No Mercy, this crash... Oh, wait, no, yeah. No Mercy, Crash Course, Death Toll, Dead Air, and Blood Harvest, um, and The Sacrifice are Left 4 Dead 1 game, or campaigns. So, No Mercy is like the first map that was released, uh, and Death Toll is second, third, and fourth is Dead Air and Blood Harvest. Now, Crash Course... No, The Sacrifice, I actually don't know which one was released first, but, um, you know, these were released. And then this is one that was re released way after Left 4 Dead 2 came out. Um, I think it was last year, so a couple years after, so I don't know. I guess this is, uh, I'll have to do some more research about Coldstream. I know I got it. I know it's an extra campaign, but I didn't do a lot of research, and I don't know the storyline behind this. But you guys just saw kind of the storyline. There's just survivors that got together, and, uh, you know, zombie apocalypse. Here we go. There's a backstory. They're going from Pennsylvania. No, they're going from Louisiana to, no, they're going from, I think, Georgia I forgot. I completely forgot. I know they're going to Louisiana, though, I, th I think, because the, the parish is in Louisiana. So, kind of a spoiler, kind of not. I'm not just kind of giving a background about all these campaigns. Uh, so, don't, you know, you don't have to skip it. Go ahead and skip ahead of the gameplay if you want. But, I mean, as far as spoilers, I'm not going to really spoil anything. So, this is another DLC that came out after all these campaigns. But, this is apparently next in the series. Now, there is kind of a cool thing you will see in this campaign that is, uh, you know, you, a lot of you who are watching this might know, but it's a pretty cool thing. I'm not going to spoil it yet, which is pretty cool. So, yeah. Um, Dark Carnival, this is obviously the next. So, there isn't a lot to say because there's ways they get from each campaign to the next. All I can say is that they're getting from each campaign to the next because there's a... At the end of the campaign, they do something to get away, and then it just doesn't always work out. So, I'm going to stop talking, but one last thing I wanted to say that I observed. Oh, yeah, and these are, like I said, Left 4 Dead 1 campaigns. Um, but I'll explain more about that kind of stuff. It doesn't have the Left 4 Dead 1 graphics. It has Left 4 Dead 2 graphics on the campaigns. So I think I might go back eventually with Left 4 Dead 1 and sh compare it. Um, but this is just giving me so much nostalgia. Just all these campaign covers. The Left 4 Dead 1, uh, Left 4 Dead 1 ones especially. But even the Left 4 Dead 2 now are, is giving me nostalgia. But there's five campaigns in Left 4 Dead 2 and five, I heard four in Left 4 Dead 1. And, I mean, basic ones, not DLC. Um, and the funny thing I was, I was kind of thinking about the other day is Hard Rain in Left 4 Dead 2 could not at all be a campaign now this is probably my least favorite campaign out of all of these campaigns i just i hate it because this is raining so hard and it's just oh my god but i was thinking about it and after this one and I, I, this is the only spoiler i'm really going to give but after this campaign you get in a boat and well you don't nothing happens on the boat except you need gas and so hard rain is basically just getting gas for the boat so this could have been a campaign that there was really no reason for i mean yeah there's a lot of things that happen in between these campaigns that they could have shown but why just getting some gas I mean, I guess it was probably one of the biggest events, but I, I don't know. Uh, really couldn't have been a campaign. And it was a it was the worst campaign to me, too. So they really should have just made four or a fifth one that's just better. I don't even know. But the first game or the first campaign is this. Like I said, though, technically these maps, I guess, in the storyline. I mean, these this game was released first. So in the storyline, these could perhaps be later. But because it was released first and this is two weeks after the infection, I'm thinking these games, uh, these campaigns... Um, these maps, I mean, or, yeah, there are campaigns, uh, these were, uh, before, but because they're DLC, they're kind of down here, so we'll just play them in order, and then Coldstream is released way later, so, yeah, Dead, St or Dead Center is the first one, Hotel is the first level, we're even playing an expert, I really hope I can get this done, but I love to play as Ellis, he's my favorite character, maybe I should play as someone else just so I can, like, talk to Ellis and just have him as a different character, maybe I should play as Rochelle, Rochelle because I hate Rochelle, and so, you know, I could have these three characters, um, you know, I think I'll do that. I'm going to be Rochelle because I don't like Rochelle that much, 
But because of that, I can control her, and then these three characters can be on my team beside me. So, let's start. I know, it took 13 minutes for that. This is going to be a longer episode, and each episode might be long, because I'm trying to get each map done in at least one episode, but it might take multiple episodes for one map, or one map, no, one level in the campaign. I'm really getting my maps and levels confused, but one level in the campaign. So this is the front of the campaign, dead center. Prices aren't the only thing getting slashed, and there's always stuff like that below it. My dog's hitting his ear on the ground, he's itching it. Anyways, and uh, so this is the first level in the campaign, and it could take me multiple episodes to finish this. It could take me one episode, and, you know, so this is why it might take a while, because on Expert, it is super hard. Witches kill you in one hit. Tanks kill you, or no, they incapacitate you. Uh, each zombie in the front of you does 20 damage, and you only have 100, so that's, you know, 5 hits, you're down. Um, and from behind, it's 10. So, I was thinking about doing it. I really just want to go through every campaign in order and enjoy it, but this is on YouTube, so I thought if I'm going to do it, might as well just do it for the challenge, and oh no, we're going to axe, we should grab any I'll go with the axe, because pistols do like no damage on expert, so uh, yeah, I'm Ellis, but now I actually haven't had, or no, I'm Rochelle, I haven't had Ellis as a teammate in a while, because usually I am Ellis, so that's that. Uh, this, this will be interesting. This episode, I might not even get through this level because this is already a long episode. Um, now one thing I wanted to explain one more time. I know you guys are getting annoyed and I'm sorry, but this is something I enjoy and I just like to explain stuff. So you can't really save. I mean, you can come back to any level. Like, I can skip to the fifth level if I really wanted to. I'm not going to, but what I'm going to say is that if I, you know, wanted to end the episode and just say, well, we've done it, we died like five times or something, then I can just go, like, if I made it to the second level and died, I can just go to the second level. I don't know if this is going to make any sense, but say I get to the end of this level and I have like three health and everybody else is alive and we're just barely making it. If I kept on, we'd still have the same amount of health and we'd have to heal up in the health room and just kind of go on. But if I start over on second level, I'm going to have full health and it's just going to be like we started from scratch because it doesn't really save your progress. It looks kind of a understand it later. And I'm like really doubting myself, but honestly, just I don't think I'm going to be able to do this because this is just... Oh my god. On expert, it's just so hard. So, here we go. Zombies. Nick, okay, I thought you actually lost damage, but apparently you were the zombie at the way. So. Real. Yeah, again, this isn't about the campaign, but I have. Oh my god, close that door. There's too many zombies in there. But there's a slight delay, so if for any reason, or actually for the reason, uh, there's a delay to the recording, so I hope it's not too annoying. So, yeah, and I haven't played this game in a while, so I'll probably be using it first, so that's just great. But I'll definitely be doing Skyrim, not any challenges in Skyrim, because I haven't even finished the campaign. Not even close, because the campaign... Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. Reloading. Uh, almost dead. Not die, but get hit. Okay. I don't want to lose any damage. So, the campaign in Skyrim is super long, so we can do this now. Oh, no. Oh, God. Oh, I think that's not good. Oh, no. There's a lot of things I'm going to be explaining on the way, by the way. I'm sorry if you hate that. But, oh, I got hit by zombie. So, like I said, 12, 20 damage. So... Oh god. Um, no. Uh, so, yeah, Skyrim campaign is super long. I'm trying to get back because I already see them. We might need those. So, I'll be doing that. But I want to talk about this game. Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, I'm talk about this now. Pain pills, obviously, just, well, not obviously, but they give you a little bit of health uh, momentarily. Health pack heals you all the way. You get more guns and you'll get more weapons, but we just start off the camp or the level with this. So, we have this. Um, it has a little feed that tells you if a teammate protects another one or if somebody kills a certain special infected, which is of a variety of um, zombies that are special, not just like these zombies, but I mean like chargers, fitters, jockeys, tanks, which is all that. So you guys should know this. I'll stop explaining the basic stuff, because I know a lot of you probably do. If you really, really want to find out something, you know, look up this game or go play it by yourself. Pretty interesting game, so I'm gonna be. Actually, no, I won't. I was gonna take the pain pills for myself, and then like take take the pain pills I have, and then take those ones. That's something I've done in the past. Um, oh my god, no, no, that is bad. Something about the jockey is on this level. It can ride you off of the edge, and there's the spitter that gives you acid, or it shoots acid at you. So I should take some health soon. Um, I believe, yeah, if you die, I don't think your NPCs can go on unless it's, like, infected. Or no, uh, versus? Oh god, I have 9 health. 
So another thing is they will heal you. Uh, so yeah. Thank you, coach, for your time. Oh, all better now. All right. What was that? Is that a jockey? And I'm not sure if on expert was extra special effect, but I think they'd be a little bit less because they do a lot more damage. So I don't know. But I think they kind of did a mistake by making it 20 for each hit. I mean, it's not an expert, but come on. Also, if you hit, there's a ability to hit. In Leopard of 1, you can do it endlessly. You can just hold down this and keep hitting. On this game, there is a little reload thing. And then, you know, there's this. And it only does it when you do it so much. If I take a break and do it, you know, I can do it. Too much, but on Leopard of 1, you could just do it unlimited. So I did, and I probably will take advantage of it on that game more. And the Charger kind of and that's what a charger does. It hits you and it pounds them on the ground. Um, if you are by a charger, it will kind of knock you. It will do really good damage. But it will punish you. And then it'll uh, make you on the ground so it'll be harder for you to pick up. Sorry, but you have to. It'll be harder for you to pick up your teammates. Also, um, yeah, you have to revive people. And the thing about that is. Um, I lost my train of thought. Try to limp shot here. So take some no, where's my pain pills at? Take these pain pills. For me. Can I take my oh, pain pills? Yeah. And you can also I can also give stuff to my teammates if I really want to shoot. Do. Apparently. Like Sorry I missed the pipe bomb earlier. I actually wasn't even paying attention. I thought I already had the bomb. Oh, no, no. That attracts zombies, that's what that is. Because zombies are coming, I'm gonna throw a food file over there. But I don't think it works when you have food or spit. I'm gonna go ahead and get this corner. Protect myself. Hopefully they will all go for that boomer bile. I think they will now. Oh god. Okay, are you guys done yet? Alright. That's a boomer. That's a spitter. That's fantastic. Boomer gives you... It all it does is put bile on you that attracts zombies. If I didn't get there. Oh my god. And I can hurt teammates. The teammates... If they're computers, they can't hurt you, but you, I can hurt them. Don't open this door, there's fire. So, by the way, just... Oh, God. Okay. There's pain pills. Probably should have uh, revived somebody with adrenaline so I could get that achievement. Oh, no, not more boomer. Come on, we just had boomer. Now I have to sit in this corner and crouch. And just keep hitting it. Oh, God. How have I not reached losing damage or losing the first off? Oh my god, there's so many zombies. Holy crap. Holy crap. Oh, coach is down. Should have taken that adrenaline. Oh, there's a hunter too. Great shot. Oh god. Okay. Coach is not. I'm gonna heal coach, because coach is about to die. I can probably use this myself later, but if he goes down one more time, when it, it's like really scratchy red, if he goes down one more time, he's dead. So you can die. If you can't get revived, you will die. And if you get down like two or three times um, without getting healed a full time, then you will die. So right now we're uh, doing dead? okay, but this is the more Isn't intense part of the level. So I don't think so. My friends call me Coach. I'm getting ready for this. Hey, name's Rochelle. One thing I forgot to do. Oh God. Oops. Um. I think closed captioning, subtitles, full captions. No, we'll do subtitles only. I don't really care about captions. Um, subtitles only. And yeah, this is the beginning because you guys are, are you? we're talking yeah, about our names and stuff. So. Meet you, Rochelle. Yep. All right. Well, I never really have Alice as a teammate, so you're doing pretty good, Alice. Coach is the one that's not really, not really doing well. And he has guns, and we don't. But guns don't do a lot of damage, except that gun. Well, guns do, except pistols don't really. Yeah. I don't like this. Get ready. Uh, I don't know about this part of the level. <laughs> Here they come. That's for sure. That sound. I don't know what she's talking about. That sound is the sweet sound of every zombie. Not just stop. Oh no. How'd you come from behind? There's fire There's Fire zombie. No one has any health packs anymore, okay? This is just going great. Alright. Okay, you took that. Fine, you can go ahead and take that. So where are we supposed to go now? You let us to pain pills, but... Alright. Down here. I remember to go. I'm not going to take the pain pills yet. There is a shotgun in here. I'm actually going to take that. There's a health pack. 
I'm gonna go and heal because this part of the level is getting pretty intense. Um, and there's tanks, there's one tank on every level except the first level usually. Now in Left 4 Dead 1 that was the case. It sometimes happened, I know like once or twice, and it happened on Versus once or twice. And I don't know in this game, but there could be I think, uh, a tank on the first level, which is a huge zombie you'll see. But for the most part on the first level there isn't a tank, but then the rest of the levels there's one tank on every level. And uh, when Ellis said Humper, it's actually a hunter. Hunter. But uh, he just calls a Humper because it's kind of that stuff. Anyways, try not to get burned by this fire. So that's a... Yeah, we tried a pipe bomb or something. Oh, we got it. Alright, well, the fire is protecting us in a way, because it's not cool. And if they come attack us, they're fire zombies, so that's just sound good. Is it? I have no idea. Okay. There's fire that's about to come down from that roof, isn't it? I just know it's about to. I guess not. Oh god. And this is the end of the level right about here. But we're not in the clear just yet. Alright, special effect a lot over here. There is defib, so if anybody dies, which is a defibrillator, if anybody dies over there, I can get it. I can go ahead and get them back to life. That's the only thing that can bring someone back to life fully uh, until the end of the level where you find them in the safe house. The safe house is randomly, I don't know. Not a safe house, a safe room, really. So I could actually just start running. Oh my god, that's not good. Don't do that. Start running to the safe room. And we're almost there. Alright, I made it. You have to close the door with everyone inside to officially get end the level. Inside. You wanna hide behind this door? Oh, and we did it. Shit, we are all so right. on easy, you could have imagined. I killed 85, Nick killed 89. Nick seems to be like the strongest guy. I mean he's the leader. Uh wow, it's 60. He's the leader um of the group, but still it doesn't mean he's like the strongest always. But he got the most kills and he had the most health. So, but Ellis killed the most special infected. Yeah, I didn't kill any special infected. So, I'm going to go ahead and end the episode here. I don't really feel like recording another one right now because I'm probably going to record some Skyrim if I can get it to work. I'll explain that on Skyrim, what, am I, what I mean about working. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you what it looks like to end a level and save. So, it is kind of cheap, um, you know, in the summer because I don't think I'm going to be finishing this by like a week and a half because summer starts for a week in a week and a half for me. So by then, though, I'll be doing some stuff like uh, not doing this. But anyways, what I'm saying is I want to exit the main menu, but you can't save. So what you'll have to do is I'm on the second level in that campaign. So I exited the main menu, which is doing that. Apparently, it starts everything over. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to go ahead and. Try to get this out of the way. So I can show you what I mean. And it is cheap, kind of. But anyways, what happens is I can start from level 2, but I'll have full health. And, uh, you know, we if like, you get awesome guns in the level before, you're not going to have them. But we'll have full health, and then there'll be like a fresh start. Um, so I didn't really need to show it, I guess. That's basically it. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like, subscribe, share with your friends, all that good stuff. I'm sorry if you guys didn't enjoy this or some of the other games. But I really enjoy this game, so I can't wait to do level 2 and just do all the campaigns. So, good thing it only took me one episode to do the first level. And it was so long only because, well, I had to talk a lot. Other episodes could be long because I might, you know, do a lot. I don't know. But I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. And I will see you guys in episode 2 of Left 4 Dead 2. Don't know what I'm going to call this. It's going to be something about trying to get, you know, all levels done with Expert. But, yeah. Um, I think... You also might have to play through every campaign together. Like, I don't have to do every campaign right away, but I have to do one campaign fully through on Expert to get the achievement. So, yeah, but it's so hard to do Expert all together. I need a lot of time. So, I think that's fine if I don't get the achievement for now. It's still a good challenge to do, and I'll do it on camera. So, yeah, hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you guys in Episode 2.